explain why AC generators are more suited to high current applications than DC generators. So the answer here has to do with where the current is generated in each type of generator, right? In the DC uh, generator, it tends to be the rotor, but in most AC generators that are used in things like power plants, the rotor isn't where the current is produced. The current is produced in the stator, which stays still. In a DC generator, the current is generated in the rotor and then is transmitted through the commutator uh, and out via the brushes. The larger the current required, the heavier the rotor coils must be, right? And this places a strain on the axle and the supports for the rotor. High current electricity can also cause arcs uh, because every time it spins, the split ring commutator, uh, of course, it's the splits in the commutator will pass uh, away from the brushes. So for just a moment, there'll be a point where the brushes are not in contact uh, with the commutator, but there'll be a very, very high voltage between them. And this can cause electric arcing. It's a process that loses a lot of energy, which we don't want. So this limits uh, DC generators, obviously, to low current applications. We don't want electrical arcing happening every time we need to create large amounts of electricity. All right, so that's DC generators. How about AC generators? In an AC generator designed for high current applications, uh, such as a power station, for an example, the current is produced in the stator windings instead of the motor. You can imagine that this would be quite useful. It's much easier to draw the current through a fixed connection with the stator than it is to draw it from a commutator from a moving rotor. This means that AC generators can be useful for very high current electric signals, and in fact, uh, far more useful than a DC generator that will produce the same current.